coming up on this episode of How To Magic. <gasps> Take the yellow and change it to a red. I really just see that. One, two, and all three. Actually jumps right to your shoulder. It looks like all the cards in the deck magically flip over. <gasps> Magic World Tour announcement. We will be in New York City Sunday, June 3rd, 2018. We will be doing a fan meetup, a meet and greet at Battery Park at 4.30 p.m. Free and open to all ages. The How To Magic meet and greet will be giving away some free merch, taking pictures, signing autographs, and you will be featured in the How To Magic Around The World video. So if you want to come meet me and the rest of the crew, be in New York Battery Park at 4.30 p.m. on June 3rd, 2018. That's a Sunday. We already had great turnouts for our fan meetups in London. England and Sydney, Australia. Let's see if New York can top our international destinations. Again, that's June 3rd, NYC, 4.30 p.m. at Battery Park. Hope to see you there. Also, a special announcement about the NYC meetup. In addition to the normal giveaway merch, we will also have 10 super fan prizes. So whoever has the craziest outfit, comes the furthest distance, comes decked out in all their Laugh at Life gear, does a crazy trick I've never seen, gets super creative, we will have 10 additional super fan prizes, and we will have one special fan prize for the biggest squad. Whoever comes with the most people, there will be one special group prize for the biggest squad. So gather up your friends, come out to Battery Park on June 3rd. I hope to see you in New York City on Sunday afternoon. What's good? Welcome back to How To Magic. Oh, 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 magic. I am your host, Evan Era. Today, I'm showing you 10 sleight of hand tricks and how to do them. The hand is quicker than the eye, my friend. This first one's a classic sleight of hand move that's been fooling people for centuries. Check it out. Come one, come all. How about you, young lady? Would you like to play? <laughs> sure. Okay, great. Do you have any money? Oh, all my right. gosh. All right, $10. great. Uh, all you have to do is follow the white dot. So just keep your eyes on the disc with the white dot. All you have to do is follow it. Okay. Where is the disc with the white dot? Your money's on the line right here. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh, man. Oh. Damn it! That's not cool. <laughs> the secret is all in this move right here gonna hold the two as one and as you bring your hand down you're just gonna drop the one on top and it looks like you're dropping the one with the dot on it then come over to this repeat that same move the dot hidden here you're gonna drop it there so the dot is actually over here and then show the last one like this they're gonna think your dot is here it's actually gonna be over here or over here depending on where you place it real simple just dot there place the disc down you actually have it there and that is the secret of the magic street money hustle here's a classic card trick that's pure sleight of hand Take a look. Okay, card trick time. So, cliche beginning. Pick a card, any card, Just any one card. you want. Okay, got it. Got your card chosen. Show the camera. Got it locked in your mind. Yep. If you would, place the card back anywhere in the deck. All right. Slide all the way in. Perfect. Watch the deck of cards. You can kind of see this happen. Jump this like that. Whoa! Turns face up. <laughs> Except for... How cool. Yes. How cool. I didn't even believe that. Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy cool. Step one, you just need a standard deck of playing cards. You can do this with any deck. Step two, before the trick starts, you're going to flip over the bottom card of the deck and then turn the pack back over. That's done before the trick starts. You're now ready to present it to your spectators. Step three, have them pick any card from the deck that they want. Step four, while they're looking at that card, you're just going to casually flip the deck over in your hand just like that and square it up. So now it looks to them like this is a face down deck of cards. Step five, you have them put the card back in in the deck just like that. Step six is the Cardini change. Simply going to hold the deck in this grip right here. Your pinky finger and ring finger are going to put pressure down and this card on top is just going to pop up just like that. You can then continue pulling it all the way to the bottom of the deck just like so and all of this is done under the cover of your hand. If done correctly it will look like all the cards in the deck just magically turn face up all except for one card there 
selected card. And that is how you do the magic Cardini change. This next one's our how-to magic trick of the week. This week brought to you by Laugh at Life. Visit shoplaughatlife.com and get Laugh at Life merchandise. Help us spread the magic of staying positive with the world by rocking the Laugh at Life logo on a shirt, sunglasses, wristband, or many of the other awesome pieces of merch we have available now at the link in the description. Here's how to vanish a coin with a special magic surprise ending. Okay, I have a cool coin trick to show you. Just pay attention to the coin right there. See it? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna take it right here in this hand. Hold out your hand for me. Okay. This now the other hand. This one. Up to like this. Uh, so if I just take the coin, one, two, three, it just vanishes <laughs> from my hands. It actually jumps right to your shoulder. What? What? very simple. The coin starts out in this hand and you're going to palm it as you come over to the other hand. So it's actually not going into that hand. It's making it look like it does. So the transfer happens. It's a false transfer. You think the coin is here the entire time. It's actually over here in this hand. And then when I go to bring your arm up, that's when I'm placing it on your shoulder. So when your focus is here on the hand, the coin is actually already on your shoulder. Then this whole motion of holding it in the hand and tapping it is completely just acting. The coin is never really there. It's one, two, three, gone. You can show both hands completely empty. And then you direct their attention back to their shoulder. Shoulder, they see the coin has been sitting on their shoulder the entire time. And that is the secret of the magic coin to the shoulder trick. This next one's a cool magic trick that you can do when you're out to eat with a friend. Okay, I have a cool trick to show you. Can I borrow your straw? Yes. 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 All right. So nothing in my hands, correct? No. All right. Watch. Count of three. One. Okay. Two. Three. The straw just magically vanishes. Oh, what? Watch it just goes right. <laughs> a really clever misdirection trick that relies on someone working with you. All you need is a friend to be seated on the other side of them so that when you bring the straw back on the third time, one, two, three, they just grab it from your hand so that when you come down, your hands are left completely empty. Your spectator is convinced that they just saw the straw magically disappear from your hands. Then when they're distracted looking at your empty hands, your friend just casually slips the straw into their drink, making it magically reappear in an instant. And that's how you do the teleporting straw. Here's a cool card trick that you can do on the spot spot with just your bare hands. Okay, quick and easy card vanish that you can do with pure sleight of hand. You're just gonna take the card and you're gonna throw it one, two, and on three, it just magically disappears just like that. And then you can make the card, of course, reappear at your fingertips. Quick and easy card vanish. Okay, here is the secret behind the magic card vanish. You're gonna secretly move the card into this position right here. This is called Ten Kai Palm. Getting into that position is extremely simple. All you're gonna do is hold the card at your two fingertips like this, and as you curl the fingers in, your thumb can easily just pinch right here, and it's gonna pin the card between your thumb and your palm. Producing the card from the air is just as easy. Curl your fingers in, pinch the corner of the card, and extend your fingers back out. Not just limited to cards, you can make all sorts of objects disappear using this technique. And that is the secret of how to make a card magically disappear. Here's a quick food trick that you can do right now. Take the yellow and change it to a red. All you're gonna need for this trick are two different colored pieces of candy and this simple sleight of hand move. It's called a French drop. You're gonna start out with one of the candies held in your hand just like this. Thumb on top, four fingers on the bottom. The other colored candy is gonna start out concealed in your hand just like that. From a backside view, here's what the spectator doesn't see. As this hand comes over, the thumb raises up and this candy drops into the palm of the hand. At the same time, this candy is grabbed. Once the switch has been made, this hand casually moves out of the way to show that the candy is magically change colors. Practice the move until it looks smooth. Take the yellow and change it to a red. And that is the secret of the magic color changing candy. Here's a classic card trick that relies purely on sleight of hand. Okay, 52 different cards in this deck. Okay. I just want you to pick one. Pull any card out of the deck that you want. Perfect. All right, and just sign the front face with this marker form. Okay. Got it. All right, but we can see it's got your signature now. Yeah. We'll take it and we'll go about middle of the deck. You can see it goes in about middle. Yeah. Goes right in just like that. Now, um, let's see. We can get the card to jump up just like that through the rest of the cards and it comes back to the top of the deck just like that. <laughs> yeah. Now watch. We take it one more time. I'll put it right here about middle. Just do me a favor. Push that yeah. in. All the way in. Snap and now turn the top card over. No way. It's already back on top. What? What? Yeah, that was cool. That was amazing. We'll try it one more time. 
I take the card and I put a bend in it right here in the middle. Okay. So yeah. we crease it really good. Yeah. And then we'll take it and we'll put it in the middle of the deck, like right here. You can see it. Okay. Yeah. Now watch. I put the rest of the cards on top. Hold it like this. Watch. Okay, classic card routine. Let me show you how to break it down. They genuinely do pick any card they want. There's no force here. They choose any card from the deck and sign it. Having them sign the card is key. Make sure you get a signature on there so they know it's not a duplicate card. Step one, while they're looking at their card or signing it, you're gonna catch a big break right underneath the top card of the deck, just like that. Now, when you insert the card back in the deck, you're actually not going in the middle of the deck like this. You're going right underneath the top card. But from the front, it really looks like it's sliding into the middle of the deck. Once you have it pushed in, square the cards up, snap your fingers and the card magically jumps to the top of the deck. All you're doing here is a simple double lift. Lifting both cards on top of the deck as one to make it look like one single card, their card on top of the deck. Next step, turn your double lift over again, take the top card of the deck, which they believe is their card, put it in the middle, they can push the card in and then instantly flip this card over to show that their card has risen to the top of the deck again. Last move of the trick is to catch a break under this top card here, slide these cards together so that you have yet a another double lift, you're gonna crease the cards in the middle. You're gonna crease both of them together as one so that they both have an obvious bend to them. You're then gonna cut the deck in half and move this top card to the middle. This is not their card. This is the duplicate card that we've bent. You show them, look, your card has an obvious bend here. You're holding this bend down with this finger on the other one. Slap those cards on top. Now you're gonna hold the whole thing together on each of these sides. That's gonna keep this top card from springing up like that. On the count of three, one, two, three, you just let off pressure with both of these fingers. The top card will pop up looking like it rises through the deck and that is the ambitious card routine because it's always rising to the top. And that is how you do the magic ambitious card routine. Here's a new trick with a classic toy. Check it out. Okay, so I have a cool trick to show you with this Rubik's Cube. Check it out for me. You can mix it up if you want. Try and okay. solve it. Oh. Cool. Back, so you. take the Rubik's Cube. Okay, watch the Rubik's Cube. Okay. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, here is the secret of the magic Rubik's Cube to the candy trick. This is not a regular Rubik's Cube. It's actually just a hollowed out shell of a Rubik's Cube full of candy. So all you have to do is bring your hand down quickly, grab the Rubik's Cube shell, lift it up, and the candy will fall out, looking like the Rubik's Cube has just magically changed into colorful candy. And that is the secret of the magic cube to candy trick. Here's a quick coin trick that you can do anytime, anywhere. Check it out. This is a special magic coin. Check it out. I picked it up overseas and it has magical powers. Watch. All I do is take it here. If you just rub, it looks like it magically disappears and it jumps. Right there behind. How'd you do that? What? Super easy coin trick. I actually came up with this one myself. All you're going to do is close your hand into a fist like this. Set the coin on top. As this hand comes over to grab the coin, you're simply going to open up your fist and let the coin fall into your hand. You're then going to mimic having it in this hand, make it disappear. So very simple, just there. And you keep the coin over here. Perfect position to pull this out from behind someone's ear after you've made it vanish. Or you can just grab it here. While their attention is here, you can drop this hand to your side and ditch the coin into your pocket so that you're left completely clean to show both hands empty after the coin has seemingly vanished into thin air. And that is the secret of making a coin magically disappear at your fingertips. Here's a cool magic trick that you can do with any deck of cards. Take a look. I have a deck of cards. They're all different cards. You can see. Let me see. See? Now what I want you to do is just cut the deck anywhere you want. Cut it in half. Nice. Cut this one in half again and cut this one in half. So now we have four separate piles of cards. So we're going to take each pile of cards like this. Yes. And count three off. One, two, three, like okay. that. Then we're going to take the cards and go one, two, three, like this. Okay. So you take this pile, one, two, three, under. under, and then one, two, three, right? Okay. So then this one, one, two, three, then you finish it, one, two, three, boom, boom, boom. Put that one down there. And then last pile there, okay. you remember the sequence? One, one two, three, yep. Two, three, three yep. Under. And then the three, one, two, three, right? And then set that down. Perfect. Yeah, completely mixed. Now what I want you to do is flip over the top card On of each pile. Each pile. Yeah. Okay. On top of it. Oh, what? I did that. <laughs> I 
That is so cool. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal a secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple and I'll teach you how it's done right now. Okay, this can be done with any deck of cards. Here's the only setup that you need to do before the trick starts. Pull out the four aces and put them all on the top of the deck. Quick demonstration with them face up. The aces start out like this. You ask the spectator to cut the cards like that. They then cut these halves again. All you have to do is keep track of the pile that has the aces. They then repeat this move over and over. One, two, three on the bottom and then one, two, three there. So do that with each one of the piles saving the aces for last. Three on the bottom then one, two, three there. Once you get to this point, you can pick up this pack and have the spectator do the move. One, two, three, under, and then one, two, three, because the only one left for them to do will be the aces. So now on this last one, when you remove the three cards, one, two, three, and put those on the bottom, you're now putting yourself in position to distribute the aces. One, two, three there. And as they flip them over, they will see that each one of the tops of the cuts that they made are the aces. And that is how you do the magic four aces trick. All right, guys that is it for this week's episode. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button and leave me a comment in the comment section down below. All right, guys, it is giveaway time. I am giving away 10 of the magic silk through phone tricks. All you have to do to win the giveaway is hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. We'll pick 10 lucky comments from the comment section, ship you out your own silk through phone tricks so that you can perform this amazing magic at home. All right, it's time to announce our giveaway winners from the last How To Magic video. Our winners are these names right here. Please send your full mailing address to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway drawing and good luck to everyone everyone entering this giveaway. Okay, ready? Part on the set! Zip code after I'm like... No! <laughs> if performed correctly, it looks like all the cards in the deck just magically spring out of your hands for no apparent reason. Play the magic challenge dot game. <laughs> Win some money. The thumb raises, the candy drops into the hand, and you fail the trick. Have a good day. No way! <laughs> the thumb raises up, that candy drops onto the table and ruins the take. <laughs> Why do you mind? <laughs> how to magic. Coming up on this episode of we How got to Magic. Enough, enough, enough. Coming if you missed the last episode of How To Magic, you can catch up by watching it right over there. The shop is right down there if you want to grab some merch and support the channel. Our vlog channel is right down there as well if you want to subscribe there. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.